Well, the arena changes have been announced and they will go live on the 10th of June. There's a lot to go over in this video, but I'm trying to get condensed as possible and also kind of like hitting all the relevant and correct topics that I need to. So, as we know, the arena hasn't been for a while an effective grind. Look, there's going to be people that will that sort of like this, but also so, sort of don't. I'm in the mindset because I like milestone grinding, but also I like, as many others, is getting units for things like content or things like for future preparation for things like July 4th, Cyber Weekend, just deals in general, you name it, there's a lot of stuff that units go for. So it's very important, very critical for players to know what they're doing and how they're grinding stuff. And that is indeed what we're hopefully going to cover in this video. So let's talk about the changes. So there's a link in the description that goes to the arena changes as they are. Essentially, it is milestone related. That is some of the key things. But also there's some kind of choking or choke points when it comes to the furthest amounts that you can get from the basic arena because that Kabam are reducing the extent of points you can get from six stars and making it more unbalanced in the basic arena with, with those six stars. There does come an issue at the moment that the six stars do not have the refresh time on that particular arena. So will that be something that Kabam address? So, so basically, the five stars and six stars, so they will get the same points in the basic arena only. And then the six stars, It'd be pretty stupid if they've got the refresh time that they do, which I think is like, was it like 12 hours or something? Um, or maybe, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less. But it's definitely like a lot more than five stars. But if they're doing the same amount, then therefore things have to change in order to come in line with that to make it a fairer point. It also does a good thing for the basic arena because the basic arena has this, this potential to go a bit too ridiculous when it comes to point cutoffs. As a lot of you know, I do arena results every Monday and do predictions every Wednesday. So from the various arenas that have gone out, there's been some fairer take-homes for the basic arenas, and there's been some ridiculous ones, especially in particular the round two for Stealth Suit Spidey. First to, first time that went was, I think, which is, yeah, it was just 41 mil for position 94, which is ridiculous. But then flash forward to like a week later when doing 41 mil didn't even scratch the surface for stuff. There's a 54 mil right there for position three, six, uh, three, five, six. So it's just, everything has the opportunity to go a little bit crazy with the arenas and kind of putting that kind of stop gap in it kind of stops the opportunity for it to blow up and go ridiculous. Because if you go, hey, well, I'm investing my six stars and I'm not getting anything back from it, then you kind of go like, mm, well, I'll just, I'll just grind out a lower amount then and see what happens. So it could have a chance to lower it down. But there will be people that are grind, grinding people that just do not like the way that that, is, that has changed. And yeah, I do see that. But I think it's one of the only situations I'd like to see what it does to arena cutoffs. Instead of you doing, like, I don't know, more grind for something competitive, you're doing uh, what seems to be less grind for the milestones. Which again, that is one of the big narratives to these particular changes and improvements. So yeah, th that's the thing. The milestones themselves are actually a lot better. Man, you, you really don't believe that until you start seeing it um, in kind of working. I'll just throw some sums out there. If you know as well, like I like to keep a log on the extent of like how much I grind. And here's some examples on screen from previous videos that I've done where I've talked about normally I did 5.5 mil, which was in the old style pre Shang-Chi arena, 1.5 mil, four star basic, and then four mil in the four star featured, 5.5 mil total. It got me back 270 units, 30,250 battle chips for a three to five hour grind. I think it's a lot lower than that. And as things have progressed with these arenas, it's just got worse and worse when it's like 5.5 mil would get me 160 units and 19,750 battle chips for the same grind. And even I did a more extensive grind of 14 mil in the um, uh, basic arena and also some of the trials and picked up 280 units, 34,000 battle chips for eight hours, 15 minutes of grind. However though, and these are the sums I've just worked out, is that under the new scheme, if I did the summoner trial for 1.5 mil, and I did uh, as well the full force, four million milestone that is in the featured, which we'll have a look in a second, I would get 135, 130 units respectively, giving me a total of 265 units, 
And then I would also get 13,500 plus 19,500 battle chips, giving me 33,000. So that comes in line close to my old target of 5.5 mil uh, of a grind. That's exactly the same as it was before, except for there's a little bit more battle chips. But I think it's all about like, the further, further, further grind process because there is a bit of, well, change in, and I will have to make change to how I grind, but it could be more favorable in my grind with what I'm doing. And that will be with the summoner trial. So again, to kind of like further explain like what I've been up to like, and, and that point and getting to that conclusion, is that again, it's based on, it's based on here. Like that was only going up to milestone number 10. I think it'd be pretty easy for me with a four star roster to get myself up to 4.4 mil. Yes, it will feel like it's an absolute ball leg like, for grind, but it kind of changes the narrative of the grind because the three star, you pick up three star and four star arena boosts more commonly than you would, than you pick up anything else. So the grind is actually more specific and that's a good thing and a bad thing. It's gonna get you kind of going, I will do the tri some of the trials arena because look, you know, I added an extra ten of these on here. That's like a further hundred and that's how much further hundred and forty. You can make bank from just kind of like specifically going in one arena. This is kind of the unit grinding arena. That's what Kabam is saying. Like go to the unit grinding arena. Even at the furthest most parts, you're able to pick up some Grandmaster Hero crystals. But the biggest thing, the biggest thing with this arena will be time, effort, and grind. I can normally bash out uh, 1.5 mil, I think, over the space of two days. If I applied myself, I probably could do that just about 4.4 mil. I think 4.4 is a little bit much to get like the furthest, furthest amount of those 20 milestones. But how I feel is that is actually more efficient because you're just going one way for it. If you're doing a featured grind, then you're doing a featured grind. But then you could say to yourself, right, okay, well, one week I will do, say week one, why don't you do the trials arena and the other arenas, grab units, and then in week two, invest those units into like a featured grind. If then that, that's just my, my kind of like tip for, for, for people that grind out in arena. Yes, it's not the most ideal situation for the basic because you may want to be competitive and have those six stars to your advantage. But at the same time, again, as we said, like maybe that will reduce down those arena cutoffs, which can go really, really silly in the basic when they shouldn't be. So shout out to Mr. King for the following. So Mr. King puts together, links in the description to Mr. King, by the way, he puts together this. This is really informative. This gives a full breakdown of what can be achieved. And it's really good because it compares to the old stuff like, okay, well, it used to be like total 140 units for 2.15 and now it's 270. Yeah, again, this is where people may feel the grind. I'm actually, as I said, like I'm not too bothered about this, especially because more battle chips can be attained. You know, the threshold of picking up uh, or grinding this with two, three, four stars is there. And then a basic, you know, four mil to get 135 units, which look, you know, there's 70 mil, 70 uh, unit deficit there. Yes, there's less battle chips, but at the same time, it's a little bit more easier to get to this point. And yeah, you can use five stars, six stars, and whatnot, and they kind of like they are the they are the same. And you've got a featured arena, which is you know the the biggest changes is the milestones are being reduced down. Yes, there's less units, but this is the thing. This is when it gets more competitive, and like past 16 mil, you no wait, people are putting in hundreds of mils. You know, to see like any kind of milestone at anything past 20 mil is it's not there anymore it, it will never be um well maybe it'll be like i don't know about two three years time but it's just it's, it's just it's just not the game's not at a place for that to be um a thing for me and and like i don't see a huge amount of problem with this but there are criticisms there are things that are restrictive or problematic the first thing as we said is that cooldown time Six stars and five stars in a basic arena should have the same cooldown if they are doing the same amount of points. It just makes, you know, zero sense for, for them to be anything different. The other problem that is very much a thing and very much something that needs to be addressed is indeed deathmatches. 
death matches are still a problem and i think in some ways they're actually a little bit worse because of this new setup so how they end up addressing that will be quite crucial especially when it comes to the basic arena and also when it comes to the featured especially because when longer grinds of um of points and keeping infinite streaks are vitally important and it's going to, have to be like a key a key thing to address but yeah as well summoner trials i think summoner trials has got to be one of those the things with death matches because it's a little bit longer than normal and say newer players that are able to access this new arena scheme or that arena in particular don't want to see their one stars and two stars going up against four stars yes it's doable but at the same time it's all about quick progress because if you've got the unit grinding arena which is some of the trials is if you're stagnating on your time grind and you're redoing your streaks it doesn't feel in any way shape or form strategic efficient or any of the above right and finishing up there are some things to again like finish off and discuss so when it comes to like a dupe for the basic because it was giving out um shards and iso and as well 20 signatures that is not a thing so command mika says the basic hero has never given more than one signature for a champion and that is and that has not changed except for the bug it, it, it did bug where it gave 20 signatures or something so or gave the impression that it would would be like a true champion as opposed to it being uh, a one signature so yeah that's not a thing anymore i would say with this situation it's worth giving it a go as i've pointed out like the the way that i've worked this is indeed looking at the situation from a time grind perspective so next week will be a really pivotal and important week because you have to really do this assessment. One thing that I'll be doing in a tip tomorrow, and I will be, I will be kind of sharing it now, is make sure to allocate similar time that you had before to see whether or not you are picking up as much, if not more, from the arena changing its sequence. Because that's the thing. We can say on paper, this looks good or this looks bad, but if you do not allocate the same time as you would have done before to what this new arena is, then it's all about giving the fair dissection data reporting that we did with the time before, as I pointed out the different arenas here. So I want to put something right here in this section that showcases whether or not we've had a change and whether or not that change has been positive or has been negative. Because if it is a negative change and my time grind and my time invested into the game to get the units back that I do when I normally do 5.5 mil. If that's not the same, or if it's better, then that's going to be great. But if it's not, then you're damn right I'm going to be doing a video that will be saying that. I probably would do, do a follow-up video to this in any case next week. Uh, when, you know, Sunday, maybe this is the second video for, for Monday, um, which will probably be the 15th of June, 16th, 14th of June. So on 14th of June, I will do a follow-up video to this one and go under the new scheme doing this amount of grind what did i get back as a result and that's going to be a key thing maybe i'll do the 14 mil i did last time maybe i will do the 5.5 mil i did with the old arena scheme uh, maybe i'll do something new but i think i'll probably do one or the other just to get a, a real kind of glimpse of have these changes improved stuff under what i did before to how it is now because that's going to be an important thing so i welcome everybody to do something similar give this a go you know, if it doesn't work, then we give that feedback. If it does work, then great, happy days. But that's the thing. Give it a try first. See how it goes. It looks good on paper, but we have to see how things go down. And also, we need those reassurances for things like the six-star champs cooldown time. The death matches need to be addressed, but I think that's going to be a later thing to do. But from the point of acquisition of units, time grind, and resources, this looks better on paper we'll put it into practice. But in any case, thank you very much for watching the video. Make sure to check out some other content located up there. It's somewhere up there. Go and check it out uh, and support the channel. I should be live streaming a little bit later on today. I do have another couple of videos to make, so um, it may be a later stream, but I appreciate you. Much love. Have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye, everyone.